What's good, YouTube? Today we're going to be doing Skylar Spence by St. Pepsi, one of my favorite St. Pepsi songs. So, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the main loop of Tatsuya Yamashita's Love Talkin', and this is essentially going to be the backbone of this uh, whole remake. Once we've matched the BPM, then I'm going to add a kick and uh, throw in the sidechain. Now I have talked about sidechaining in my previous videos, so I won't go much into it. Eventually I'll adjust the sidechain and maybe even change the kick, but the purpose of having the sidechain beat is just so I can get a uh, feel of what the song is going to be like and to also identify some transient noises so I can adjust it accordingly. Now those transient noises come from the peaks of the sample that come in before the sidechain does. Now that we have a nice speed to give us an idea of what we're uh, looking for, I'm going to extend the sample a little bit more just so we can identify what's going to be the uh, variations that we use in this sample. Personally, what I like about these variations are how subtle they are. You wouldn't notice these are chops from the first time you listen to the song. Right now, our variation is very simple, but little by little, we're gonna add some more variation on top of that. Now, the chopping in this track is not gonna be in your face like, say, some of the more modern feature funk tracks, but you're gonna notice that after the intro, the real fun begins once we start introducing the vocals. For example, we're gonna use this section of the song, but we're gonna use a piece of another to uh, introduce to the first section. Swapping out the second bar really adds a nice touch, and it still maintains the flow of the loop. And by placing the original second bar into the fourth bar, that's gonna give us the sound that we want. Now we're gonna repeat that first loop, but we're gonna add this variation. Now, from the intro, there's a piano segment that we're gonna use to add to the loop we're working on. We're also going to introduce that piano segment into our intro. This pretty much sums up the section, so now we're going to add our transition. Our song will repeat the intro, but we're going to add some vocal variations to it. Now, you may recognize some of these variations, but they're actually introduced to you beforehand, almost like as if it was a taste of what's to come. We're also going to be introducing a portion of the sample's intro that we haven't used so far. As a matter of fact, the bells that you hear from Skylar Spence is actually spliced together from the intro and the outro. That's what's clever about this part. It sounds so consistent that you wouldn't believe they're from two different parts of the sample. The next segment is pretty straightforward. It's just a repetition of Tatsuya Yamashita saying My Girl. It's a nice little breakdown, and since because it's short, it doesn't come off as too repetitive. So for our buildup, we're gonna take a piece from our intro. Once we've found the other segments, then we just add that to the buildup, and you see it all comes together. We repeat this section again, but then change up the ending to indicate a transition. Afterwards, the beat drops on the loop we've made, but we've made a couple changes. First thing is we get rid of that repetitive guitar pluck. And then of course, adding some more variation. I think one of the biggest strengths of this song is how it reused some variations in different parts of the song. So there was still that sense of familiarity, but at the same time, it was fresh. After this, we wrap up the song by reintroducing the intro. And that is essentially the uh, track Skylar Spence by St. Pepsi, or now known as Skylar Spence. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave a link to the song down in the description below. If you have any video suggestions or remix that you would like me to try out, just leave them in the comment section. This is Edie, and I'm out.